Um, yeah, none of the, his normals are really... Ah, oh, the tiger. Tiger. I picked the pink one. Perfect. This costume is so much better, though. No. The only good costumes yeah. are the tiger and Young Sagat. I don't know. Alright. So, first and most immediate thing about Sagat, his movement is garbage. His walk <laughs> speed is the third lowest in the game. I think Seth and Makoto are both slower. Um, his dash speed is not atrocious, but it's not good. The back dash goes kind of far, but kind of slowly. The forward dash is actually alright. Um, I think his throw range is about normal. Uh, what else? His focus attack range is unfortunately pretty shrug. It's alright. I think it was like, it's like low average these days. It looks worse than it is. Um, what else? He has no way of altering his jump arc. His jump is about normal. It's like the same yeah, way that every other... Um, so, normal, stand jab. I never really see... This goes pretty far. I never really see people use it that much. I don't really know what it's for. <laughs> the only thing I see it used for is, like, pretending you're going to do a fireball. Yeah. Yeah, I see that a lot, actually. Like a little wiggle and then, like, a stand jab. Uh... Yeah. It doesn't have a close one, does it? Does it have a close one? No, oh, he does have a close yeah. one. I never see that one either, actually. It actually links into... Yeah, he can, he can do that off of low short, can he? I thought he could. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, okay. Um, usually you see Sagats go for low short or low jab. Uh, the low short, I think, is four frames plus five or plus six, I think. Um, but it's got pretty good frame advantage, and it combos into itself quite easily, like like bison combos, and it combos into jab really easily. It's like a several frame link. So it's quite common for Sagat to do, like, say, um, I haven't done this combo in a while. I think I missed it. Yeah. But like low short, low short, low, yeah. That's like a really common confirm combo for Sagat. And you can actually spice it up and make it a little bit more powerful by doing low short, low strong, low. Uh, you can do like low short, low short, low strong. You can do like low short, low strong, low jab. I think the second one, I think the first one's actually easier and it does more damage, so whatever. Yeah. But his jab is uh, three frames, the crouch jab. And most people, when they think of Sagat, they don't really think about a character with a three frame normal. But it goes pretty far. And it is you like three frame startup. Link jab into jab, but it's a one frame. Yeah, it's, it's plus three. Three frame plus three. Very difficult. Um, but that's not a useless a confirm. Because, yeah, Bonchan does it. It's not It's not without niche, because like, sometimes you need the fastest normal you can possibly get, and then you need to be able to combo out of it. So that's like what Crouch Jab, Crouch Jab does. But it's difficult. And then just for damage sake, that's 30, that's 30, that's 40. That's two hits. Yeah, close short, or far short. I think it's almost, I'm pretty sure it's the same shit. Um, that normal is actually pretty cool. It goes really far. It's two hits, and I think as of now, both hits cancel. So you can do like, um, yeah, usually use it until like, uh, that works. And I think you can do uppercut as well. And that, it functions as a confirm, even in, a, in and of itself, because you can just see whether it's hitting or blocking, even in the same animation. But its real claim to fame is that it's as far as cancel, I'm pretty sure. And because of that, you can do little cute block strings. I don't even think it's a combo, but you can do block strings like this. And um, I'm not... That was odd. Is it cancelable from that range? I thought that still worked. Ever since they made the second hit, like, block uh, cancelable. It might have a different animation for close and far. That might actually be a far normal. Yeah, I'm trying to FADC. It didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's not there yeah, anymore. The you can't space it anymore. You have to space it manually. Um, oh well. Well, far short's still like a really far poke. And it does 50 damage, which is not, you know, not bad for a light normal. Breaks focus super quick, too. Yeah, breaks focus super quick. All those kicks do that. Um, let's see here. Stand strong. Far stand strong, I almost never see anyone use. It might be useless. I don't know. Close stand strong is actually a strongest cancel. It does slightly more than that's 85, and then his he's 70 for low medium and low 65 for low low medium and kick. That does 80. Stand round house. Yeah, stand strong is technically max damage and cancels. So if you got like a focus, you might do like um, I just fuck that up, like uh, like that might be your max damage meterless combo. I don't know. That's like a yeah. That's like that's like the kind of combo that Sagat can do. 353. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Cause it's because of his, his neutral jump uh, attacks do a ton of damage. Yeah. That's 130, and his neutral jump fierce is 140. Jesus. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, the hitbox of close strong is kind of shitty, and it will miss in some crumple animations, for example. Like, sometimes it'll just like go right through the opponent. Sagat's big and has a bad hurtbox, so everything will uh, tend to yeah. work on him. 
Yeah, Dan. Dan, Dan I don't even think. I don't <laughs> fucking good things don't work on Dan. I don't think it'll work on. It'll work on Ryu, but like, there's a timing where it won't work. For example. Yeah. So like, most people just use like low strong, or like stamina house. But stamina house pushes the opponent out a lot, so it doesn't necessarily. Actually, it might not at all get both hits of his da his dagger knee. So I what it people doesn't. what I normally see people do is that, which is probably the best, uh, or the most conventional anyway. But stand strong will slightly add damage it. You get 15 extra damage before scaling. Um, low strong, as just mentioned, you can link into it from low short. That's its main use. Um, it also is just a very general uh, good cancelable button. I think it's a two-frame link from crouch short. It's either two or one, I don't remember. Um, Doesn't feel like one. Yeah, I, I always feel like it's, it's easier than one frame link. It might be the same speed as his low short, I don't remember. But it's only plus three, which means it's like a one frame link. It's either plus three or plus four, but it's like a tight link into his jab and it doesn't link into anything else. Um, let's see here. But that's like, it's just like a cancel tool. Far stand forward. This is like good to counter poke lows. It's really good in some matchups. Some characters, like, it just counter pokes their attacks really easily. Like, I see this versus Shoto's. I see this against Rose. It just goes over lows and it goes kind of far and it's just surprising against some characters and the way it just shuts down their offense. But usually it's not that useful. And up close it does two hits. And actually, fun fact, it's plus three. So you can get like a one frame link at the crouch jab. I'm not very good at that link. But it's there. There it is. <laughs> first hit cancels. Yeah, first hit cancels. That's not super useful. But, but you don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Bonchan uses it as an anti cross up apparently. Jump over me? I don't know if I believe it. Oh, what the fuck? That's uh, the opposite of an anti cross up. Oh, maybe like Stan Strong he was talking about. Maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely stand strong would. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, whatever, anyway. Um, left forward moves him in a little bit, which is nice because it uh, kind of puts you deeper in the opponent when you cancel the fireballs, which is good because it lets you do some combos that you can't normally do. Oh, yeah, he was talking about close strong. I was going to say that's weird. But you can do like... Uh, go ahead. Uh, you can like go into like focus... Like, you can get, like, a crumple off of that. It's kind of precise. But just to show off that it keeps you close to the opponent. I'm not very good at that. It's not that useful, but it's there. Whatever. Um, but it does move you forward a little bit, and it goes it goes quite far compared to most of his cancels, which is it its main uses. It doesn't go as far as it looks. Yeah, the, the animation is deceptive. Um, the damage is kind of low-ish, I guess, compared to his other cancels. So you wouldn't normally just use it, like, in... I don't know. You wouldn't use it in like jumping combos or anything like that. It does hit low, so you know it does force the opponent to block low. Um, let's see here. Far stand fierce. I never see anyone do. I don't think there's a close version. I think it's just always far stand fierce. Um, I don't know of a purpose for this move other than the poke against some characters. But his stand hard kick is like better in every way at that. So I don't know. I don't know if it's better in every way. Um, it does quite high damage. 120. That's all right. Um, Crouch Fierce has, this isn't CVS2, but it has like a little shades of CVS2, you know what I mean? It's actually got pretty good frame advantage, and I think on some characters you can lick a jab after it, and you can lick a super after it on everyone. That's not like super important, but it is, I think, it does pretty good damage. Yeah. Uh, I tried. Did I get it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, that's not even optimized damage, but it's there and it's neat. But like, this is not a bad poke to throw out. It's like an okay poking button, but you've got like a better one in this. I shouldn't say a better one, but like his stand around house is a really good poke too. Um, so let's just talk about that. Stand around house is like, it's two hits. The second hit's only 40, but the second hit has a ginormous hitbox and very little hurtbox. And it just goes really far. The first hit's 80, so if you get both of them, it's uh, 120. And against focusing opponents, the first hit does no pushback, which means that it's really easy to do um, to get both hits on a focusing opponent, which means it's basically just a counter focus button. The same way Vegas stand around house is. It won't beat red focus though. Here, hit, hit me with that focus. Oh. Oh, with the focus. Yeah. It just it's just like super easy to just counter. Here, let me try it from either farther away. Like here, I think. Oh fuck. That was bad. Yeah, you can just smack focus with that on reaction pretty easily. Um And there's some other neat things about it. It cancels on the first hit. That doesn't immediately seem super useful because it does eighty rather than like eighty five from this. I mean it's still a lot. You can still do like that. But there's uh it does the most hit stun of any of his uh cancels. So there's a little bit of nonsense associated with that. Um, we'll talk about that more when we get to that. Um, but there's some neat combos you can do. Um, let's see here. Crouch Runhouse is a sweep. It's pretty good, actually. It goes really far. 
Damage is okay. Hitbox is all right. Recovery is not too bad. It's like a pretty good sweep, I guess. Um, you can use it like a poke. It's not a terrible poke. Um, I don't have that much to say about that bo button. You can combo to it from Fireball if ADC. I don't know if you have better stuff. Usually I see people do low forward uppercut. Um, got a lot of command almost. I forgot about the fake kick. I'm really bad at that. That's hard on pad. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm, on stick I get it sometimes, but not every time. On pad I can I I have to like, it's like impossible. I don't see use for it. I never use it. <laughs> it's 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 sort of too fast to really show off like a bait. I usually see people just swag out with it. Like, like when I see Cody's fake rocks, that gives people time to commit to something. That like that happens so fast, you're just like, wow, what did I just see? <laughs> um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, towards light kick, it's a step kick. As step kicks go, the startup is atrocious. The movement is really good. It covers like a lot of ground. It's got great frame advantage. It's actually plus three and neutral on block, I think. So with perfect timing, you can link a crutch jab, which is sadly unplinkable unless you use select. Um, but you can watch high level Sagats get that all the time, and it's super cool. Did I get it? Yeah, I was just yeah. lucky. I was lucky. Um, but the fact that you can combo out of it on non counter hit, and it's quite easy to get a counter hit with it. Um, just means that it's 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 like you can get combos out of it on reaction if you're like a good player, and that's a nice thing about that step kick. That's quite rare. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, the overhead. It's actually a pretty good overhead. The range is balls, and it doesn't break armor. It's only one hit, but the damage is pretty high, and it comes out really fast. So like people don't normally regard Scott as the kind of character who would have an overhead, but it's actually like a pretty good overhead. Oh yeah, we'll get yeah, to. Um, I, I should have mentioned that his Kara. Oh yeah. Um, actually, off of both forward hard kick and forward light kick, he has a Kara. Um, the forward hard kick one is slightly more tight. It's still there. I just did it. Yeah, I think you just did it. And then the forward light kick one is like one of the biggest Kara windows in the entire game. You can just like, you can get a lot of forward motion and then Kara it. You can actually do it into like uh, fireballs, but it's kind of precise. You have to do like, um, you have to do extra directions to trick the game into thinking you weren't trying to go for an uppercut. Or you just have to do it really late. Um, I practice that a little bit. I'm I'm okay at it. Um, it's kind of hard though. It freaks people out. I usually do it with a half circle. Try that. With a half circle, like the game, like it muddles the inputs a little bit. It's kind of faster than you're doing, I guess. I don't know. But there it is. Tiger shot. Huh, huh. But that's actually pretty useful because you can get like a surprising. <laughs> Surprising range on that fucking fireball. But it's really, because it has forward motion for the light kick, uh, it's easy to get his DP motion. So there's a lot of command overlap with Sagat, unfortunately, working against him. And then this button, it actually doesn't hit nearly any character in the game, but Sagat is fucking tall. 80 damage. Um, it tends to be super juggle friendly. And the big use for it is, I mean, you can anti-air with it, and it's pretty good. Here. Um, and it recovers really fast, so you can usually do two of them without too much trouble. And then after two of them... Your juggle options are pretty limited. You can juggle into either Ultra or one hit of EX Fireball, I think. After one of them, you can do uh, a Tiger Knee. Actually, maybe even two of them you can do a Tiger Knee. I don't remember. No, maybe not. I did light. You might be able to get off of EX. Oh, yeah. That's not really a good use of meter, though. But um, yeah. it combos into either Ultra, like full Ultra of either Ultra, which is pretty cool. Um, and you get a ton of damage off of that. And it's more famous use is on a non-jumping opponent doing an uppercut and then getting towards roundhouse, which I was super late for. And that works in their Ultra as well, and it adds damage. Yeah, but you do have to be careful with a counter hit. Some smaller characters. Oh yeah. This will actually the last hit. Will yeah. Hmm. And you have to do the Ultra really early there. You still got it. But like it's it's surprising. Yeah, it looked really weird there. Yeah. Um. Ultra One, it got kind of nerfed as of Ultra. It's kind of like shittier now. Sometimes it falls out in some new in some of the weirder setups. I hate that. It's still better. Remember, like it didn't work on Rose for like a long time. Do you remember that? Like if, if you did, uh, sure you can FADC Ultra or towards Roundhouse Ultra or whatever. It would only do the first two, and then the hit that activated the third uppercut like wouldn't connect or something. So it just wouldn't do the third uppercut. It was really weird. Rose was like bugged in Sagat struggles. But I think they fixed that. It still does that on some characters. I think it still does it on. While they're jumping. Yeah, I think it does it on poison, like even all the time. Poison's weird. They <laughs> might have. They might have fixed that. 
Um. Anyway, uh, let's see here. What other was that? Is that all about towards hard kick? I guess there's not that much about that move. It's just a juggling move. I guess you can use yeah. it as like a poke on some characters. It works as an anti-air, but it works better as a as an uppercut of ADC combo. Oh yeah, this is kind of important. No, I'll get to that when I talk about uppercuts. Uh, Nisha jump normals. I usually see. Uh, I don't really see any of these. <laughs> Nisha jump forward is okay. Yes, yeah, so I got. Don't jump up. Uh, Nisha jump forward is a good incinere. Like a really good one. Um, and Sagat's a tall character, so of course it's going to look really good on him. But yeah, like just straight up. Doesn't need a fuzzy or anything on Sagat. Sagat's actually kind of short when he crouches, though, compared to a lot of characters. He's, he's shorter than, like, fucking Geef, I think, but he's still, like, a tall yeah. croucher. Um, let's see here. But you've got, like, you've got that, and that's kind of notable. Um, let's see here. I usually... Okay, Important animals, the jump hard kick is like the conventional one, I'm pretty sure. I think that they jump fierce and jump hard kick both do above average damage. They're both 120. Um, jump fierce goes, has a bit less of a hit box, hurt box, but the range is about the same, really. Um, you don't really use the others that much. Jump short is his cross up. He doesn't have a medium kick cross up that I'm aware of. Um, that actually does like okay damage for, uh, actually it's 50, that's like standard for a jump light normal. Um, you can hit it kind of deep and it still works, which is nice. Uh, one normal that that will cross up. It can, things. yeah. It's one yeah. of those buttons, like Cody's jump fierce. Um, yeah. But one thing that I people used to talk about this a lot in vanilla, and it's actually still there. It never left. It's just that people don't really use it that much anymore. Is his jump strong has very small hurt box. So the hitbox isn't that big, but his hurtbox like regresses up into his body. So if you're attacking someone without invincible anti-air and you do it kind of early, you can actually stuff like normal anti-airs and stuff like that, which isn't common knowledge anymore. I don't think. Like it used to be common knowledge. People used to talk about it all the time. But it's actually got like a surprising jump in hitbox. Like that's hard kick, right? It's actually pretty oh, hard yeah. to beat this. Oh, that was nice. You kind of hit me. See that? Like. And then this, I'll do strong as well. That was kind of hit, so you didn't even get it out. Yeah, it's it's tough, right? It's actually like a really good. It's a really hard animal to beat, which a lot of people don't know. Of course, an uppercut will just beat it clean. Um, but that's like a it's a, an interesting little Sagat tool that like it's kind of fallen by the wayside. Jump strong. Um, let's see here. It's kind of like it's kind of like Sakura's old jump fierce. It's like the same concept. Ever since the pre pre nerf. Um, let's see here. Uh, I guess that's air normals in a nutshell. There's no air throw or anything to worry about. I guess we'll just go on to special moves, right? Let me quickly double oh, check. One note, one note about the jump Pierce. Yeah. It's actually the only air normal he has that'll beat like uh, EX head stomp from Bison. Bison. Yeah, all his all his air normals are really low. Like they all go, they're kind of like way lower than his body, except jump Pierce. Jump Pierce goes the furthest out, and it's the highest, which means it's generally best for air to air in general. I didn't mention that. That's important. But like against like if Bison's like EX stomping across the screen, you do early jump fierce, so it'll just stuff it. But like most of his other normals will just not connect and then it'll get smacked. Which sucks. Um Let's see here. Uh I guess special moves. So his fireballs are unfortunately frame advantage. They're fantastic fireballs. Um you got a great command of speed. They do sixty damage, which is about normal for a fireball. Uh, you've got a great command of speed. You can have really slow ones or really fast ones, and that really screws people up a lot. Um, and then you've got two different heights, and it seems like the low one would always be better, which is it's generally better um, because you can duck under the high one, and you have to kind of contend with the low one. And that now they have really similar frame data. Sadly, the low one used to have garbage frame data, and the high one used to be pretty good, but now they both have garbage frame data. Um, both of them are like minus quite a lot on block. So you wouldn't, like, there are characters who can just punish that. Like, I don't think Sagat can. Sagat's punishing power is not crazy. I tried to super it. Nah, not there in time. Yeah. Sagat's not really a punishing kind of character at range. But uh, Chun can punish it. Yeah, Chun much. can punish it with Ultra 1. Fucking Ryu can punish it with super. Stuff like that. Um, so you can't really... I mean, block string sync to fireballs are still fine most of the time. That's like a very common combo. That's like the equivalent, the Sagat equivalent of low forward fireball. Is low forward into low fireball. Very common. Um, yeah, I'll get to that, that Zig guy. Thanks. Um, let's see here. But you've got the... the High one is actually pretty hard to jump over. Especially some characters like Hakan. His jump is so slow, or like Dudley. 
Not slow, but like he doesn't get very high off the air. It's actually very difficult to jump over these for some characters. Sagat doesn't have that much trouble. Um, so that's like a nice little thing about them is that they kind of smack people trying to jump out. And they do just have a higher hitbox in general. I think they do slightly more damage, right? 65 versus 60. Um, but the fact that you can duck them kind of hurts their utility. Um, let's see here. Apart from that, uh, EX Fireball is super important because it it's really fast and it'll go through like normal fireballs. So I mean like a low fireball. If I like throw a, a EX one at the same time you throw a low one, it'll punish you pretty easily. And the cool thing about that is the second hit is the hit that knocks down. So if I see that I go through a fireball and hit you, I can combo, I can like hit Compare and Ultra 2 and screen range irrelevant. Like I can do that point blank um, and it works. That actually works in Tultra 1 as well. Or I can just straight up do it full screen and it works. Which is a nice little thing about Sagat. That really helps him in Fireball Wars. Like, it's really silly the way that Fire... If Sagat just predicts, like... It's kind of weird in the mirror. Because, like, Sagat's Fireballs don't interact with each other if they're different heights. Um, but I think every other Fireball, Sagat's Fireball will hit it. Like, if like either either of Sagat's Fireballs will hit every other Fireball. I think the high one won't hit Jury's low Fireball, but that's, like, the only exception. Um, but, like, if Sagat throws an EX Fireball at the same time you throw a regular Fireball, he just gets an Ultra 2. And that's really useful. And yeah, it doesn't even need to go through a fireball. You just need to see the hit. Full screen combos. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Apart from that... Uh, oh yeah, just proof of concept. You can do like combos like this, I guess. Into ultra. That used to lose a lot of damage, but now it gets like the near full connect. Which is nice. Pretty powerful, I guess. Yeah, and EX Fireball also combos into EX Fireball on one hit, so if that's, you need that extra damage. That's true. Ball. Yeah, throw me throw me like a Fireball. Oh, fuck, that's an EX Fireball. Throw me like a regular Fireball. Hey. You get a, you get juggle potential there. Oh, yeah, they just have, like, good even juggle with, potential. Uh, oh, yeah. Even you, just without that, though. Yeah, you get one hit. That's not bad. That's sometimes the damage you need. Um, Let's see. Du Dudley's ducking is straight up... Uh, Invincible to all fireballs, it doesn't matter about the hitbox. Of course it mm -hmm. Um, anyway. Uh... I guess uppercut. So God's uppercut is... It's kind of cool. I mean, it, it's like a... It's kind of bad compared to shut uppercut. It's very subtly different. The invincibility, I think, isn't quite as long. It's got a little bit more stud up. It's five frames instead of three. So it, um... It is... You can't, you can't beat safe jumps with it. It loses the safe jumps instead of beating them. Um... But that speed difference usually doesn't matter. Um, but one thing that's kind of cool about it is that it's incredibly vertical, which means that you can hit jumps that are like even going right over your head. And most uppercuts aren't very good at that. But even like Sagat's hard one is okay at hitting like kind of high. But like like it hits at ranges that you wouldn't normally think an uppercut would hit. And what's really cool about that is you think you would lose out on the really far uppercut because of that. But between his like Kara, his two Karas, he actually has a really far uppercut too. So, like, one thing I see a lot is, like, a Sagat, like, full screen will throw, like, a low fireball or something like that. And then, uh, when he sees the opponent jump over it, he'll, like, do a Kara uppercut. That was... I kind of jumped early. But that's just a straight up. That's, like, a really cool... That was neat. <laughs> okay. That still works. Let me have a go at it. We're doing it, like, closer than we should. Yeah. I'll do it. My turn. Oh, wait. Yeah. Maybe. Might have been it. Oh, it's too slow. But you can do stuff like that. And I was doing the light kick one, which is a little slower, but if I did the towards hard kick one, that would be a little better. But you can you have the long range uppercuts and the uh, vertical uppercuts. So he has actually the best anti air versatility of almost any character. Ken can do similar things with his car though. Um apart from that, what else does the uppercut do? Obviously Def ADC's Scott is one of the minus five characters, so Post forward dash, you're unsafe. Uh, even with Angry Scar. Oh, actually, I think Angry Scar is safer, isn't it? But you can also use the XDP FADC. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about Angry Scar just in a sec. Um, but you can FADC it, and it does pretty good damage. And if you do like the follow-up combos, it does amazing damage. That's the wrong combo. You'd normally just end there if you didn't want to burn bar. <laughs> um, just the towards hard kick, and that's it. Or I guess, fuck, what the fuck was that? I guess you could juggle into EX Fireball if you wanted to. I don't know. Normally people just do the towards hard kick and they're done. Um, but you can FADC it for, for big combos. And of course, like, his really high damage combos. This used to do like 600 or like 650 or something in vanilla. 
I miss those days when you would do like uh, that. That was so powerful back then. It's still it a pretty really strong combo. I mean, this is ultra double and it did 485. Sagat's damage is pretty high. And he hit weird too. Yeah, didn't even get the full connect. Um, I think Sagat's 75, isn't he, for ultra double? Pretty I'm not sure. sure. Um, that right. makes sense that he would be, yeah. Yeah. What else about uppercut? Oh, yeah, let's talk about Angry Scar. So, Angry Scar is an uppercut ish move. It affects uppercut and nothing else. <laughs> um,. So basically, if you do down back, down back, kick, they keep on changing the motion on me. It's freaking me out. Uh, down back, yeah. down back, kick, like a fucking super motion. It costs one bar, and it's you can only do it once unless you use it, and then you can do it again. On your next uppercuts, on block, on hit, on whiff, it doesn't matter. Uh, that uppercut will have some increased properties, I suppose. Let's get some. Let's show off what it does. Light uppercut normally does 120. Hard uppercut normally does 120. Are they all the same? What the fuck? I didn't know that. EX is 200. What's medium? It better be 120. Yeah, they're all the same. Normalized, as of super, probably. Um, with Angry Scar, Light is 150. Uh, hard is 180. I think this is vanilla damages. I think it literally returns mm -hmm. you to vanilla damages. And EX is, I think, 220. 250. Quite a lot. Um, that's pretty cool. That's like a big increase in damage. But that's not the only thing it does. Um, one thing about Angry Scar is that it does, like, kind of scare the opponent to blocking because they don't want to eat a high damage uppercut, so you can kind of use Angry Scar and then get some throws off, which is actually an underrated use of it. Um, but, like, uh, one thing that's kind of good about, yeah, <laughs> something like that, maybe. Uh, one thing that it does that a lot of people don't know about is that it increases the juggle potential of uppercut. So let's say I have, like, uppercut, FADC. I can't combo another uppercut there. Like, that doesn't work. It only has, it has JP0. It doesn't work in juggles. Oh, I never mentioned that. Oh, dude, jump. You ever see this? This is cool. If you get like a super high connect um, light uppercut, you can actually combo into like uh, first hit of knee. You can do ultra one as well. Yeah. It's so stupid. You almost never see situations like this. I can't seem to get it. Maybe you need the opponent to be like, oh, I did medium and it worked. I did light and hard the first few times. Um, apart from that, yeah, that's. I missed it. I think it's too low. But it's there. You know, that's not. It recovers way slower than like reuse light DP, so you don't normally do combos yeah. like that. Um, let's see. Uh, anyway, Angry Scar increases the juggle potential of Uppercut to one, which means that it works after like a single hit knockdown, which is actually pretty silly because you can do combos like this. Um, here, uh, jump for me. Just a jump in. I mean, head forward. Neut neutral jump. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> um, like that doesn't work. But if you have an angry scar, it's a kick. I forgot. That suddenly combos, and it does pretty good damage. And it gets stupider than that. It gets really stupid. Um, you can do uppercut. Oh fuck! Just on grounded. You can do uppercut and get an angry scar, and then juggle an uppercut, which I actually missed for fucking unhype purposes. Damn it, dude. This isn't even hard. Do it to style on me. No. This is not a super precise struggle. I don't know why I'm missing it. There it is. I did it with jab, jab DP first. It's... this should be the same difficulty. I, I have no idea. There it is. It does quite a lot of damage though. But that's a 3 bar juggle and it's pretty cool looking. And you can actually do that to EXDP and if you do it to EXDP, EXDP on grounded or air connect is a 1 and on air connect sometimes more. Uh, frame juggle into ultra. Into ultra 1. It might work to ultra 2 as well, I'm not sure. I think they're like the same speed, but I don't know if it's like hit if it's in the same if it's inside the opponent's hitbox in time. Um, I don't know. But like, uh, if you do, I'm I'm gonna try and plink it and see if I can get it. Ah oh, shit, that is not. I didn't get the full ultra motion. Maybe I didn't get the plank. I got it. Cool. Got it without the plank. But you can do. That's it's it's tight. It's very difficult to get, and if you drop it, it's your ass. But it does insane damage. <laughs> It's actually really powerful. Um, so that's a nice little thing he has. And again, if you do uppercut, if you do like a combo into uppercut into FADC, like um, EX uppercut into ultra, that ends up doing like 500, almost 600 damage, I think. Or I think more than 600. It's really powerful. Um, there's a couple other minor things about it. This is really stupid, okay? You're going to like this one. Um, so you might not know this. You probably know this. But the first hit of Tiger Knee FADCs and it doesn't knock down, 
and second hit of Tiger, Tiger Knee FADCs, and it does knock down, which means that's technically a JP0, JP1 scenario. So FADC, you can combo an uppercut if you have the Angry Scar, and that actually does like pretty sick damage. Um, not a combo. Granted, it's technically a three-bar combo, but this is where things get absolutely pants on head retarded. Um, if you have four bar, if you have like a angry scar stocked, and you just hold on to that angry scar, and you build up to four bars, you can do like a match applicable five bar combo, because it's the one bar for angry scar, and then get the four bars back, and then you can do that, and that's two FADCs plus an angry scar, but that does insane damage. We're on ultra double, but it still did 587. It's really strong. It does like some. Over 600. Yeah, it's. I think it's creeping to 700. It's, it might. It's powerful, um, but that's like a that's like a max damage jump in combo. But just you know, for the record, Sagat's damage with optimal setups is actually really high. Sephiroth, you mute. That's fine though. There was a lot of background. Yeah, I was hitting my uh, vaporizer. Didn't want to run mic. I respect that. Feel free to continue. So, um, let me see here. What else? Uh, I guess, I guess knee. I mean, I th I've pretty much exhausted Uppercut, right? Oh, yeah, hold on. Angry Scar, there's one other thing about it. I showed it off a second ago, but you can, like, combo into it. Do I have an Angry Scar right now? And then you can link out of it. Like, I didn't get it, but that can be a combo. <laughs> like that. You can combo into... And that's, like, okay on block, too. Like, that's actually, like... Like, if they block it, that's you're safe on the Stamron House Angry Scar. You're actually, like, frame advantage. But but if you see it hit, you can combo into uppercut, and if you see it blocked, you can like you know, kind of sneak. I don't know. You you know not to do anything. So it's like a hit confirm, and it's like it's okay to angry scar. Like that's a perfectly fine thing to do anywhere. Doing it in pressure is all the better. But like it's common if you if you're Sagat and you have a uh, if you've got four bars, all the hits you're getting aren't building meter anymore. So if you don't have an angry scar and you've got like near max meter, you might as well like stock up an angry scar. There's no reason not to. You'll probably get it back eventually. You'll probably get the damage the damage value out of it. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mention that. Um, here. Uh, focus for me? That's not a focus. His uppercuts don't break armor. But if you have an angry scar... Damn it. They do break armor. If angry scar is up, they, um, they break armor. It's a neat little thing. Um, that's like the other use of angry scar. And that gets auto counter hit, so that does fucking insane damage. Like breaking. Hold on, let me see it again. Just focus for me. Powerful, 225. I actually broke it with hard last time. 225 off it. Uh, a lot. I mean, it, it's gonna only do bonus damage for the first hit. 292. Almost 300 That's damage. Like yeah, it's like what the fuck. 42 more damage. Um. All right, let's see here. Knee, I guess. This move is really weird. This is the one that doesn't explain very easily. So it's like. It's kind of like a Jaguar kick, I guess. Um, it's kind of like a spiral arrow. Yeah, it's up, like a forward DP. Up close, it's unsafe, but if you space it, or if you hit like a crouching opponent, it's usually a lot safer. And it does okay chip damage. Unsafe ones are usually marked by getting two hits. If you get two hits, you're usually unsafe. Because um, the second hit hits really early. But if you like, if you hit going down, you're usually fine. If you hit going up, you're usually unsafe. But that's like a safe one, I think. Um, but it, it does. It has a pretty good hitbox, and it's hard to beat coming in, especially like the light one, like hits all the way down. It tends to counter hit things, and it does pretty good damage. It's actually the the hard one is the strongest special movie has, except like EX uppercut, I think. So like, um, that's a very normal combo for Sagat. That did uh, wait, hold on, what was that? One sixty for a single special move is pretty high. Um, yeah, definitely chat. This is this is. This is the crux of playing Sagat well. Um, and what else? So hard is like the highest damage, and light is the easiest to make safe with spacing. And I think just the safest in general. I think they have the worst frame advantage as they go up. EX is, I think, always minus one. And I don't know if there's a way to space it to make it more than minus one. But EX does really good damage and is like fully safe. And then after that EX, you've got the same mix-up that like Dan and other characters have, where you can just like sometimes do an uppercut. Sometimes do like a fucking. I didn't mention the counter hit. Uppercuts on counter hit are weird. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but like, uh, I didn't mention this. All knees break armor. That's like one of their functions. 
if you see a focusing yeah. opponent, it's like his true armor break, and it does really good damage as an armor break, so, you know, useful. So God doesn't like focuses, so, like, having good knowledge of your armor breaks is important. Um, but that does really good damage even far away, and up close it does, like, really good damage. 180 is powerful. And uh, I think you can actually get, like, an anti-air and combo to it. Yes, on FADC first hit, I think it's plus three. I'm pretty sure that's true. There's, like, some sh shenanigans with that. Or it might be more mm -hmm. than plus three, actually. <laughs> That's a cool combo. But you can do like weird stuff with that. You don't normally do that, but it's there. Um, but the main point of the main point of this move is to approach, knock down, push the opponent to the corner, and pressure safely. So he can like he can like chase moves down with it. There's uh, some other weird things it does. It's really weird to try and fucking comprehend or explain this move. One thing it does that's kind of cool is um, because it does the most damage of any of his attacks. If you get like a focus backdash, which is quite a common thing to go for with Sagat. Um, like, most characters just have to do a sweep or something like that there. Here, quit blocking for a sec. But, like, um, Sagat can do that. And that actually gets really good damage off of a focus backdash, which is pretty cool. SPD is minus two. You mean SPD is two frames. Um, yeah, stand hard kick into Tiger Knee is also really good. And maybe I'm too far. I don't know. There's, like, a range. Close hard kick and, and far hard kick are actually different moves. Yeah. But they the look they look the same. <laughs> They're like an identical animation. Um But yeah, you can I can't hmm, wait, still cancels the super. Doesn't cancel special moves though. Um I don't know, I don't know how uh, what am I forgetting about Tiger Knee? I feel like there's a lot to say about that move, but I can't think of it. Um Yeg's yeah. knee can cross up on tiny characters and there's a completely retarded setup with that. Like on Kami and Sakura, I think, if you do like a crouching if they're crouching and you do like a certain I don't remember point blank left forward to X knee or something like that. And if they keep crouching, it hits them behind. It like the last the first two hits on hit on the front and the last hit hits from behind. And then you can from yeah. that behind, you can get like um an ultra one. Just like a raw ultra one it just combos. Um oh yeah, red focus cancel. Uh, you can red focus the knees. I forgot about that. That's something they do. They don't get that much damage with the first hit, I don't think though. So it's not like super No, hold on, one ten, that's a lot. 100, 90. Tiger Knee is supposedly a good anti-air. I've been anti-air with it. I didn't know it was good, though. I just thought it was, like, half instance that I got anti-air with it. <laughs> it's, like, really good against, like, neutral jumps. You can, like, do that and tag neutral jumps really well. Or, like, EX Knee. I don't know. That in... I think in cross Tekken, that got a wall bounce, which was really cool. You could, like, do that and get a wall bounce and then do, like, towards hard kick super and stuff like that. Cross Tekken was such a cool game. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, it's fucking dead. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's but it does do good damage as a red focus now that I've inspected it. But Sagat gets nearly as full damage even on air connect. So normally you wouldn't go for yeah. that kind of, yeah. Block low for me. Okay. In the corner you can get pretty safe, pr not like that. Pretty safe yeah. pressure from just yeah jabbing into uh, yeah well in specific ranges. You can do like block strings. You can do like short, short jab, light knee, short jab, light knee, etc., etc. There's like certain. I don't know if it works better on some characters than others, but you can use that to just get free block damage at the end of your strings, and it's really hard to interrupt. You have to use like an invincible reversal. Um, oh yeah, but let's. Before I forget, um, uh, uppercut is has this really weird focus for me. If you get a counter hit uppercut, the reel is different, and. It's supposed to help Sagat. This is what it's actually supposed to do. Sure, you can FADC... Oh, sorry. Don't focus for a sec. Um, sure, you can FADC backdash is safer, but you can't get, like, as good follow-ups. You can actually still get Ultra 2, but you can't get Ultra 1 anymore. It used to be able to get Ultra 1 there, I think, but they just straight up nerfed that. But I think I think Ultra 2 still works. Oh, that still worked on Sagat. That doesn't work on most characters. Pleasing. Yeah. Um, but like Ultra 2 works on everyone there. Fuck, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> no, my bad. I'm not explaining what I'm doing. Um, but that's like one of the reasons Ultra 2 is kind of good, even though they work in almost the same setups, is that you can be safe and still land Ultra with Sagat because you can do it after backdash, which is kind of cool. Um, and then, uh, uh, here, get a focus now. See, that hit, like, reels really high on counter hit. Um, and on backdash, you can actually combo towards hard kick, which you normally can't combo, which means that you can do like combos like that, 
which normally aren't available. That works on all characters if you get that crazy high connect. The problem is that it fucks up your forward dash combos, and most people tend to do sure you can forward dash. Um, so mm. like, uh, if I want to get forward hard kick there, it's possible, or it might be impossible on some characters, but it's super precise. It's really hard to get the forward hard kick. So what most of have to like as late as possible. yeah. What most Sagat players do is instead of going for that forward hard kick at all, they'll just do raw ultra when they get counter hit. So every time Sagat gets an uppercut, he'll like react. He'll be looking for counter hit. And if he sees it, if he sees that there's no counter hit, he'll just do like, oh, towards roundhouse into ultra. It's kind of hard to react, but it's a skill you get from playing Sagat a lot. And then if you see that it's a counter hit, oh fuck. Uh, you'll just raw ultra. Whoa, I walked under. Uh, fuck Sagat. I think I was a little I early. I, uh, I, I, I lost some. I lost some hits. If you could crouch. You could do like a crouching ultra mesh in order to not walk under. Yeah, like that. That's what Great. you usually see people do. Fortunately, the counter hit gives you a little bit of extra time to react because they do float higher. But it just makes it so the towards hard kick doesn't combo, which actually re removes a lot of damage, which kind of sucks. Um, oh yeah, and a lot of Sagats do Tiger Knee when they get the spin counter hit. Here, do it again. Actually, I think the medium... No, I don't remember which one does the most damage there. Oh, I didn't get the counter hit because you were successfully released. <laughs> I see like that. If you don't have meter, if there's no ultra available... Like, normally if there's no ultra available, you just get the uh, towards hard kick and you just end there. But if you... Uh, you can't get the towards hard kick if it's... Uh, if you don't have ultra. Or rather, if you don't have ultra, you can't get the towards hard kick that you would normally go for there. So you just do like one hit of me and you're just fine with that. Um, so I guess that's that in a nutshell. Oh, there's one other thing that's super important about uppercuts that we never mentioned that's super important. Um, jump in hard kick or something on me. If you do it like an early uppercut, it's easier with some versions than others. Even on air trade connect, it's it still functions, which is one of the things about Sagat that's awesome. I'm doing them too late. It's like invincible enough that you can just outright beat. Here, back up a bit. There you go. You can get trade connects into ultras. Sagat is one of the only characters who still has that, and it's fucking useful. So anytime you don't have, like normally, here, jump in on me. Normally you can just uppercut FADC and ultra. We'll pretend I got it. Um, but if you don't have the bar to FADC, you can still shoot for the trade connects and then, like, try and land an uppercut, like, or try and land an ultra like that. And you literally, if your opponent hits you, you get a meterless ultra. And it does, an insane, it does the same amount of damage that a two-bar ultra would cost. Very rewarding. Sagat, like, most characters lost that. And it's all about your timing, but I think you can do it easier with light DP. Light DP trades, like, really easily. So you could get that into, like, um, uh, uppercut or your ultra really easily. Whoa, nice. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. So that's pretty much all the special moves in a nutshell, right? Ryu only gets it on our anti-cross-up yeah. or in the corner. Or if the opponent's in the corner. If Ryu or the opponent is in the corner, he gets it. Um, so his super, uh, there is one kind of cool thing about his super. It's not common knowledge, but I do spread it around every time I can think to. Um, oh, medium gets the most consistent trades. Okay, duly noted. Um, Sagat's light super, not all of them, I think just light, is two frames. The range is garbage. You need to hit on the first frame, and the first hit is very, very uh, short. But it does hit in two frames, which means it is a two-frame punish. So against attacks that are really minus, or only barely minus frames, but recover point blank, such as Oni's Light Slash, such as Abel's Change of Direction, stuff like that. Sagat normally doesn't have a punish for those. I mean, actually, you can punish Change of Direction with Jab, but whatever. Um, if it's minus two, he normally doesn't have a punish. Dane's down Kikaku. If you get, block one of those and you have Light Super, you can just throw out Light Super, and it's two frames. And also, because of that, it beats safe jumps. Like, even if they don't hit a button, it beats safe jumps, because two frames is really fast. Um... What else about that? Um, you can combo super into ultra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on a cornered opponent. That's crazy damage. On a cornered opponent, you can do like um. Let me think of like this. Doesn't even have to be cornered, actually. Oh yeah, it just works, doesn't it? I did the wrong version of super. It works on a lot of characters mid screen, but if you if you're even like halfway to to the corner from mid screen, then it'll it'll work fine. Not bad. Can I have a super? Do um. I'll just cancel into it. Oh, I got it. I think I was too early. You can yeah. be too early. Okay. 
Yeah, damage! That was that was double ultra and it still did 658. The damage yeah, of this is insane. Um, with just ultra one, it does like 720, I think. Not bad. Yeah, that's too far. So you just got to be past mid screen. It does work in the ultra two as well. Ah, I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, it's a lot harder, but yeah. Neat. Um, what else? That's pretty much it for a super. You can combo into it from yeah. like uh, the first hit of Tiger Knee, or Fireball, or you know, Uppercut actually. Anything. You lose hits if you do it from the second hit of Tiger Knee, or if you do it from Uppercut, but it still connects, so it's still okay. But you can do like... um. Can you do it off the second? Oh. Yeah. yeah okay. I did the wrong version. You have to do medium, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... I'm doing this all How wrong. How do you do all this shit on pad? I do not know. I'm a wizard. It's kicks. What am I doing? I'm literally retarded. Hey. And then... Oh, shit. Maybe it's light. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> this, like, this is a weird combo that no one ever does. That looks like... Yeah, you can get ultra. Ah, that's cool. That's a cool combo. You'll never see anyone go for that, though, sadly. That probably does six six fifty or slight. I mean, not six fifty. Probably like six hundred, somewhere between those two, with uh, ultra two. Um. Oh yeah, EXDP into ultra two is easier on an airborne opponent. I said that, but I didn't show it off. But like, uh, if, if they're jumping, it's it's easy to get an ultra follow up, and you can do it to either ultra in that context. Um. People still think it's just hype, but it's a lot easier, so you can fool your friends into thinking you're better than you are. Yeah. Everyone's all like, wow, look at that sick one-frame juggle. Um, let me see here. That's pretty much it for... Okay, let's just talk about the differences between his ultras. As a conventional rule, Ultra 1 does slightly more damage in juggles, and Ultra 2 works in slightly more scenarios. Um, the one thing that Ultra 2 does... I mean, Ultra 1 still goes through fireballs, but Ultra 2 is way better at it. It punishes fireballs at about the same tier as uh, Ryu's super. So, like, if, you, if, I'm, if I'm anywhere, even, like, this far away, and I see that fireball start up... That, I'm dumb. I did the wrong one. Did that still punish? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> not blocking. I don't think so, you're, you're laughing it up instead. I always mix up his ultra motions. Well, that is not an ultra. I don't know if that's in time. I think it is. Yeah. It tends to trade, but that's fine if it trades. It's a really good trade. Um, yeah, but it's a chance to get into. Yeah, it knocks the opponent down. You can get some. You can get some cre screen back. So God is normally thought of as a kind of a turtle character because you can just chill and throw fireballs. Um, so any chance you get to really push the opponent back and follow it in is really good because it gives you more screen to slowly walk backwards. Um, so I do have a question. One thing I don't actually know, Scott. For instance, with Ryu, if you do ultra and then it trades, you can get the spin kick after. You don't get a follow up with Sagat. Mm -hmm. Not even like car uppercut or anything. There's no follow up that I'm aware of, and it's a shame because it'd be really cool when it would add skill. I remember Sanford was talking about that in Ultra. It was like a change that he wanted to see for Ultra when everyone was recommending changes. He was like, Sagat should be able to do this," um, but they didn't end up giving it to him. Sad. He was like, they sh "You should be able to do a car uppercut," which I actually thought was kind of a cool idea. Um, but whatever. Sad. Sad for Sagat. I haven't seen Sanford play Sagat except in like some matchups in a long time. Yeah, he doesn't know what he made now. That's uh, still cool. I, I yeah, his Sagat was better than his other characters. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the that's the thing. Like even though he's been playing Oni for a long time, I feel like his Sagat is still better. Or maybe everyone else has just leveled up. I mean, he's fighting new opponents now, but even against like uh, he used to always beat like uh, Sabin and and usually beat Dominion, but now like even both of them can bully him around. Um. Anyway, getting distracted. Let's see here. <laughs> Uh, what are some setups where only Ultra 2 works? There's the uh, sure you can have 50C back dash. Uh, there's anti fireball. There's uh, full screen EX fireballs and stuff, and like fireballs through opponents' fireballs. And that's pretty much the big changes. And then they both work after FADC forward dash. They both work after towards hard kick in any context, airborne context. Um, they both work most of the time. And then they. They both work after EX Fireball in the corner. Ooh, that should be ultra. That should be ultra two only. I think. I'm not sure. You got, you're throwing the. You're doing. You're doing the upper. The. You gotta wait for the fireball to go off the screen, because there's yeah. the fireball law. Yeah, there you go. Only one kind of a fireball on the screen at a time. 
That's actually really good now in the, with the Ultra change of Ultra 2. Yeah, now it gets all the connect. Um, mm -hmm. Let me think here. All right, let's talk about how to how to like Sagat combos and how to play Sagat, I guess. Sagat usually is just content to chill and just throw fireballs. You have to be really wary of what the opponent has that goes through fireballs, and then you have to kind of adjust for that. That's like basically what you do. That's Sagat in a nutshell. As you're fighting like Blanco, you have to like, oh, I've got to, you know, mine my fireballs when he's got a Blanca ball. Only throw them from close. EX Blanca ball when he's got an EX. Or like stuff like that. I've got to mine my fireballs when Dudley has like a, like when Dudley exists. I've got to mine my fireballs. What's a good example of like one bar just shuts down fireballs? Like ES Blanca ball is the easiest one I can think of. The most clear example. Uh, yeah, Blanca with the X ball. Um, Maybe soccer with the X tall too. Chun-Li. Some characters, you know, you just gotta you gotta be mindful of your your opponent's anti fireball options and play like that. But you can really Sagat's like got the when you have a fireball and an uppercut. Fireballs put huge pressure on the opponent to jump because they're super rewarded for jumping, and they're um, they can't they they have to contend with a lot of pressure if they don't jump. And then he's got like a really solid anti air that you can just do to just reliably beat like most jump ins. So what you do with Sagat is normally just that that mix. It's like a better version of the Shoto mix up, where you just throw Sonic you throw fireballs as much as you want to, and then as soon as you feel like they're about to like jump in over you. You like stop and you look for that uppercut and then you uppercut them. That's like Sagat in a nutshell. That's like what he does. Ah, nice. Yeah, slide Hakan. Oh, that still hit. Perfect. Oh. Um, D DJ EX about I guess. I guess you might fight a DJ someday. <laughs> um, that's like his playstyle in a nutshell. But you can play a little bit. Uh, rush down with like fireball FADC and like towards fierce or like knee pressure. Stuff like that. Uh, you can get a little bit of stuff going. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll talk about that with combos, actually. That's the perfect thing to talk about. Let's talk about punish combos first. Um, conventionally, Sagat's punish damage is actually kind of low. Um, if you want to burn bar, he converts bar into damage pretty easily. But like, if you just block something, it's usually just like, oh, here's my low strong tiger knee, 230. It's like lower than most characters. Um, if you want to do uppercut, it does a little bit less damage. But if you have ADC it, it ends up doing a little bit more damage. That was dumb. Um, Fuck. Uh, you can also do fireball FADCs to add damage, and that's like a thing that a lot of people do. They do like something like this, which is you know safe to throw out on most characters. And then if you see it connect, you can FADC on reaction and do something like um, I missed it, but like something like that works. Yeah, or that. That's like the more common one, and that ends up doing pretty good yeah. damage, I guess. But knee is yeah, knee is better. better. Um. So that's like that's like how he turns meter into damage usually, and of course he can turn meter into damage directly by doing fucking that, or like uh, ex ex uppercut does a lot of damage whether you have the anger scar or not. So if you can like you know, you get a hit and you're like oh I want big damage let me do my low strong ex uppercut, pretty strong 270. It's like not terrible use of meter I guess. Um, and then apart from that like confirm combos we were already talking about it right at the beginning like short short short. Um, you can just combo any point into like a EX uppercut. I mean, not EX fireball into a regular uppercut. And these are all low, so you have to like crouch tech. And Sagat's walk and throw threat is not very high, so it's not that bad. He doesn't have a good mix up there, just because his walk speed is garbage. Um, Does but he, have he a character? Um, I don't think so. Maybe off like stand hard kick. Oh, what's that? You did one. Was that towards hard kick? I think that was walk. Oh, it's just just walking. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know about a car, though. But, like, a lot of a lot of Scots do stuff like this. They do, like, a short, short, a... I don't know. Mm. Um, jabs do have more range. They have less advantage. They have a lot less advantage. They come out a little faster, too. But um, they're um, only plus three. Whereas the shorts are, like... Thing. Yeah? Um, counter hit overhead does combo into EXDP, but only, at least on Sagat, I could only get it on standing. Mm -hmm. A lot of uppercut overheads do less frame range on standing. I know that on counter hit you can do like that link. I think. I think you need a wide body though. I, I would think Sagat was a wide body, but maybe not. Whatever. Um, apart from that, we we mentioned that a more optimized combo is like short, short, strong, like that. It's like a pretty good confirm, I guess. Uh, short, strong, short, strong. I don't know. There's like kind of cool combos Me. you can go for. Yeah. Yeah. 
seen he probably does less damage there. Yeah, because you lose hits. That was the X. Just proof of concept. Um, and then, of course, you can hit confirm those into uppercut off ADC. That was safe-ish, even though I dropped it. But nothing's really safe now that minus five. Whatever. And then if you want to be if you want to be Bonchan, you do jab jab jab, like a hero. <laughs> that shit's hard. Don't, don't be Bonchan. It's like fucking. It's like Vega doing it, dude. It's hard. Yeah, short 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 jab, jab is easier. So you should actually do that most of the time because yeah. it does the same damage. That's like his preferable baby confirm. But it's like a good confirm. Don't go thinking it's bad because I called it baby. It's just easy. It's like it's the easiest confirm. That's what confirms are supposed to be. Yeah. Supposed to easily hit confirm your damage. Look at Cody. Jab, jab, short. Yeah. That shit's easy as fuck. That's a, like a five frame link, I think. Fisher Price combos. Yeah. But they're effective. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it for Sagat. I don't have that much more to say he about this really character. He doesn't have too much complicated stuff. Yeah, he's more of just like a... I mean, he does have some wonky stuff, but like... It's usually not important to his game. It's usually not like yeah. game-changing. It's usually just fundamentals. He's a very fundamental character. He's not like... He doesn't teach you... He's like a Ryu taken to an extreme. He doesn't have the well-roundedness that Ryu has, but he has better versions of the things that Ryu is best at. So, like, he's really good at the Fireball War, and he's really good at the Anti-Airs, and he gets, like, really good damage, and he, like, you know, uses his bars to convert to damage. But then you want to try and play footsies, and he's really stiff and slow, and his normals are kind of weird. So, like, you know, it's like a different, it's like the other world Ryu. Ryu from an alternate universe. Yeah, and, like, all of his close moves are built to push you back. Yeah, everything about Sagat is about pushback, and then fucking full screen games for days. Sucks I got in a nutshell. Um, a better form of Dolphin. Yeah. I feel like Dolphin's alright. You want to do another character or what? Um, actually.